What's going on everyone? Welcome to Busy Dad's Board Gaming. My name is Neil Odette and today we're going to be peeling back the plastic and doing an unboxing of Scapegoat published by Indie Boards and Cards who was actually kind enough to provide me with the game. So let's dive right into it. Taking a quick look at the front of the box, Scapegoat, you see several pictures of uh, goats. It looks as though perhaps they're planning a heist uh, and someone's, someone's goat to take the fall, apparently. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. A game de designed by John Perry. So let's take a look at the back. Flipping over to the back side, as I mentioned, published by Indie Boards and Cards. This is a game for 14 plus with three to six players and takes around 30 minutes. Looking to the top here to get some context on what this game is about. You're a part of an internationally renowned group of Billy Goat criminal masterminds, and you've just pulled off your greatest caper yet. Stealing the coveted golden hoof right out of the most secure bank vault in Barn City. Someone's go to take the fall for it. Just make sure it's not you. Scapegoat is a quick game of deduction and deception. Everyone at the table is trying to pin a crime on the same unsuspecting player who has already been randomly selected to take the fall. The twist? That player could be you. Trade cards, make deductions, and figure out if you're the scapegoat before the cops come after you. Uh, so, kind of steps, I believe, that uh, might take place in the game. So you have collect evidence, deframe the scapegoat, figure out if your friends are plotting against you, and three, frame the scapegoat before they go to the cops. Now, if you're not familiar with indie boards and cards, they do games like Coup, uh, Resistance, so those social deduction games. And they actually, in my opinion, tend to do them quite well. Uh, so I'm actually pretty excited about trying this one out and seeing what new twists that they could add to the, uh, to the genre. So... Let's uh, peel this back and see what's on the inside. As we peel off the top of the box, you can see, as you could imagine, the rules sitting right on top. Uh, here we have the same text that is actually on the back of the box. Uh, the object of the game. The goal of this game is to figure out whether or not you are the scapegoat. If you are, run to the cops. If you aren't, work with your fellow conspirators to successfully frame the scapegoat by collecting cards that contain their portrait. Here you have the components. So you have evidence cards, player mats, uh, five locations, six tokens, two prep tokens, and two decoder dice. Setup. So six steps. So not too, not too big. What, what I would expect from a game like this actually uh, with the full-on photo of the setup here and an example of how to figure out who the scapegoat is going to be um, by rolling the dice. You have gameplay so there are three parts to a player's turn you have movement actions at the locations that they move to and then an evidence swap, communication, and then the game end. You have a frame attempt, so you can actually try and frame the scapegoat. Or if you find out that you are the scapegoat, you can go to the cops. And if you are correct, uh, you win the game. And then gameplay reference. So underneath the rule book, we have the actual six player tokens, depending on what color you are. Underneath that, we have the player, uh, player mats. So these I will show you just real quick. So you have different ones for different player counts. So if you're playing three players, um, you've got yellow, red, and blue. But we're just going to take a look at the, as if we were playing three players real quick, so I can kind of show you how the whole scapegoat thing works. So on the back, you have these charts, uh, black and then white. So you have a white die, which is a D10, and a black die is a D12. 
at the beginning of the game when you set up you roll these and then each player consults their chart to see who the scapegoat is according to them at least those get rolled let's say i rolled a seven white and a three black so we go seven white three black this player believes red is the scapegoat so the blue player thinks red is the scapegoat the red player believes that blue is the scapegoat and the yellow player believes that blue is the scapegoat so in this case blue is actually going to be the scapegoat but blue believes that red is the scapegoat so it's going to be up to the blue player to figure out that the other two players are working against the blue player and the, the trick here is that these two the the red and yellow players who believe blue is a scapegoat they don't know that they're on a team together essentially so they're that's going to be have to that's going to have to get figured out through the game through gathering evidence and things of that nature that they are on the same page and they're trying to pin and frame uh, the robbery on the blue player. Meanwhile, the blue player, although believing red is the scapegoat, needs to realize and figure out that they are actually trying to pin the crime on them. And by that, with that, they can go to the cops and then be able to win the game. So, very interesting. Uh, very, very interested to try it out, see how it all plays out. <clears throat> Here we have the cards which will be evidence cards uh, location cards and much like the player mats there there are and goodness having a hard time opening this tonight much like the player mats there are numbers on within the evidence cards to let you know for three plus players three plus players four plus players, five plus players, and then six players. So there you go. And here we have the actual locations. So these will be lined up in a row uh, with go to cops at the very end. And basically when you move your token to a location, you can perform that action. So spy, look at a player's hand, trade, simul simultaneously trade one card with another player, prepare, Take a preparation token when both tokens have been taken. Flip this card. So these are your preparation tokens. Uh, and then on the back you have frame or steel. So if only if you have one of these tokens can you attempt uh, or initiate a frame attempt. So yeah. That's basically everything that's in the game. Uh, I'm very interested to see how it's going to play out. Like I said, in the boards and cards, uh, they are, I won't, I won't say they are masters at this type of game. However, they are very good, and I, I enjoy these types of games that they've done in the past, i.e. Coup, The Resistance, things of that nature. So I'm very interested, very excited to try this one out. Um, I'll be sure to, to let you know how it goes if you follow me over on Instagram when that actually happens. So that's what's in the box. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Like the video. Feel free to share it with family and friends as it goes a long way in helping the channel grow. Uh, as always, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Descript links in the description below. So go check that out. But as always, until next time, thanks for watching and happy gaming.